Okay, so we are on a Model 3, uh, and it has full self-driving data, and we just put an address on there. Whoa, whoa, what was that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit weird. Sometimes it'll like slow down or speed up randomly. So it's not by no means perfect. Yeah, yeah. So this is beta. I mean, this is literally, but it's driving on its own. This is something that's new for me because we have just a regular autopilot or whatever that just kind of keeps up with traffic and stuff. It hasn't turned. Did it turn? Yeah. It already did a turn. A little bit of a turn, yeah. So let me ask you this. So you still have to keep your hands on the wheel? You don't have to, but you got to check in every once in a while. So when oh, it starts okay. to flash blue, it'll, it's essentially wanting you to check in. Oh, I see. So it's, oh. so it's different and it's not the same at, at the same frequency as the other one? Correct. Okay, so now it was kind of weird. It kind of like stopped like, I don't know, like 10 feet before the actual intersection. Mm -hmm. And now it's going. Oh, look at that. It went into the other. Okay, now so it chooses. It's checking in. It wants me to touch it, so I'll just touch it. Where it has a hard time is uh, construction zones. Construction zones. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. lot of like random cones. Like, oh, like it's this. A bit confused. It doesn't know it's where it goes. Because of the lines. Yeah, the lines are a little bit weird. You didn't know what to do, and it finally figured it out. But it figured out. It kind of hesitated back and forth, and then the acceleration was weird. It kind of took off. Yeah. And then it like accelerate again. Okay, so then it told you to check in. Yeah. Look at that! I never seen that in ours. Ours doesn't look like that. Cause, okay, there's a car. Okay. So kind of freaked out there because there's a car coming in. You have to wonder, like, if this is the the bleeding edge or if he's doing this sort of stuff just to keep you on edge because uh, he yeah probably i'm sure it's a little bit of both because i think he can't make it too good because then people would trust it yeah. too much yeah. and it's not legal yet right this is this is beta mm -hmm. how is it legal for him to have this beta cars run around in the streets yeah yeah it's for sure, it's a. I think it's a gray area. It hasn't been a, completely. I think the fact that it's not like a level five automation is what makes it so it's still legal because it requires the driver to still be responsible Just, and still check in and be still here. check in. The, when you sign up for the beta, it also turns on the camera up here, so it monitors you, so it knows like if you're yes. not paying attention. Okay. And and people can do that trick where they put that thing. I'm sure they probably can, to be honest with you, because I don't think. Like if you put a thing over here, I don't think it'll see it. Oh, as long I as you're see like you're at least looking like you're looking, I don't think it'll trigger anything. Oh, I see. But you, you are under scrutiny from Tesla, mm -hmm. so you can't do too much crazy stuff, dumb stuff, because yeah. then they'll completely remove you. In fact, he has removed people, yeah. right? And they were really angry, and they were like making a big old fuss about it on the internet. Yeah. So it doesn't recognize like emergency uh, vehicles. Okay, so that's the one thing right now. Yeah. Look at that. This is a good test. Okay. <laughs> and then it turns I was like, oh, there's a Tesla. The guy's like, oh, there's a Tesla. Turn the lights off so he doesn't freak out. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. How long have you had uh, the beta? Been part of the... Um, I got on board when 10.4 came out, so that's like... Like a month and a half, two months. Maybe. Okay, so five, five to eight weeks, maybe something like that. That's crazy, man. And we're we're on. I'm on ten point five right now. I'm waiting for ten point six to come out. I haven't got the update for ten point ten point six. So how many rations have you gotten in two months? Two, uh, three, three, two or three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Have you seen huge differences? Yes. Ah. Uh, there has been improvements. There really? has been some regression. Like right now on this one. Like at the stop sign, it's like weird. It it does it didn't hesitate as much as it does now. Before. Before. Uh, and they're saying that like people already on online are saying that 10.6 and 10.6.1 already is showing better. It doing better on like stop signs. Ah, uh, okay. Um, what did I notice a difference? Applied slightly. Okay, I noticed so. a different. Like I will try to take like same routes to different places. 
uh -huh. and I'll notice like oh right here like when I'm going to my parents house on Arrow well, out in Fontana there's some spots where it's like a it's like a one lane but it's a giant lane okay. and the car used to try to go to the curb and then come back to the thing and now it stays on this side along the, the center line ah, so okay. like things like that you notice that change how about have you have you used it on like the freeway yeah, but on the freeway, like the production, all the production cars have freeway. Yeah, okay. So those are pretty. That there's not really have been any changes for the freeway. Ah, okay. I it, noticed that it always sets the car in the center of the lanes, and yes, it still does that. We don't do that. Like humans, like whenever there's like a like a hard thing on the edge, mm -hmm. we, we always hug away. the center. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. like, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room because there's a hard wall over there. Mm -hmm. It's just imaginary line over here. And so it's it's pretty nerve-wracking when the car wants to like put you right on the center yeah, yeah. and you're on edge the entire time you're like uh, okay let's just go to the center I, line i've gotten like, used to it already so honestly it doesn't even oh. sweat me anymore but yeah at the beginning it was kind of like uh this is crazy you got full self-driving how how far do you think this is away from from full self-driving, whatever, level five, right? Level five? Oh, I think we're still super far. Quite right? away? Yeah. Quite a ways? Yeah, I don't think, I think there needs to be, a, for it to be level five, I think a lot of the other cars have to have adopted it because I think that's the biggest variable. Like the car can be doing everything right, but it could be Somewhere the else. human variable is what I think will mess it up. Whereas yeah. if everyone is on is doing it, like I think the cars, react to each other more and they recognize what they're programmed to do more yes. so than what a human would do like i don't think a car will round the side oh this is my turn i'm just going to cut across traffic yeah and a human would do that versus a like a programmed car they would rather just take the light go around or do something different yeah. so i think the human variables would keeps it from ever being level five so at least you're saying the regulators might want to have a certain level like a percentage of cars Mm -hmm. capable of this before they can sign mm -hmm. off on it yeah but technology and and regulation never really goes hand in hand so that's why that's another reason why i think it'll take a long time for us to yeah. actually see it but this is genius right because he's yeah. you're literally teaching the cars to do something so you're ready whenever <laughs> look at that it just takes off yeah. <laughs> it just tries maybe you have it you can adjust the so you could adjust like if it wants to be chill, see like right there, it cut the lanes. It just cut. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes on intersections like that, it gets confused. L luckily, there wasn't a car. There was no car lane, there. And maybe that's why it did it. You're like, you know what? Maybe. <laughs> I didn't see. Did it see that? Did it have the turn signal? On? It, it might did. have had the turn signal. It so did. then it, pr it planned to do that. But I have noticed it do that. Like, um, if there's an intersection with a curb in it, it might end up. It might end up in a different lane. One. Okay. Or if you're merging onto a freeway, sometimes you'll end up, you'll start this lane and you'll end up on the outside lane. Oh. You shouldn't do that, but. Yeah. You're like, it's fine if there's no one there, yeah. but the car is there. Yeah. We do that all the time, but we never think twice about yeah, it. Exactly, because we, yeah. at the very least, we, we looked to see if there's a car. <laughs> That's so crazy. So this is cool. I mean, yeah, I think it's done pretty good. That's actually a, a very good drive. I don't think I've had really to intervene with anything. Sometimes it misses up and it and you have to take I over. Have to take over or at least kind of butt in a little bit. But it's been doing well. It does better during the day for sure. At night, it does tend to be a little bit more hesitant on stuff. Well, yeah, because it only uses cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the thing that I just saw in the news? He's supposed to take radar off. Well, he already has it off. So if you're in the beta, like this car came with radar, but he turns it off. He turns it off. Beta. Ah, okay. So this is without. And people don't seem to get it that vision should be good enough. They're saying like, no, why don't you put all these other systems in there? Yeah. Okay. I, I think. Okay, what's going to happen here? I wouldn't this? mind. I wouldn't mind it having both. Because of the car there, and then there's a car coming. <laughs> okay, so look at Rick's out. So basically, we're like 20 feet from the line, and it just hesitates. And then, and then it's like a very hard hesitate. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Steps on the brake too much is not just very like, dramatic. Very <laughs> dramatic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that keeps you on edge. I think that might 
be a thing that he wrote in the code that are like, yeah, I kind of have it so that people don't forget that they're supposed to pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. So you you best you don't regret paying all that money for the for the beta for the FSD basically. Um. Yeah, I, if I were to go back and do it all over, huh? I would have rather spend the eight ten thousand dollars to get like the performance. See, like right? oh, it, it doesn't yeah. see that line up there. So the line is kind of disappear yeah. there. Okay, but it will creep up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, relax. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> okay, it'll go now. Yeah, so I would. I think if I would have done it all over again, I would have gone the performance just because. But I'd like a little bit more of like that sports car kind of a feel. Uh -huh. Um Because this this is what is what this is this? Just the regular just the SR plus, so the standard range plus. Stun oh, okay, same the same movie have us. Mm -hmm. That's it. So it'll just do here and then just tell you like how you pull up. Or yeah. Oh, okay, because it doesn't know. It might think you're. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, so that 